Hey besties, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. In this video, I am so excited to share with you guys some of my Black Friday steals. Now, this is like a Black Friday haul, but it's not everything I bought for Black Friday. I'll probably have to do like two additional videos like this video to share everything with you guys, but we have five boxes. I'm getting kind of antsy. I already opened up two of the packages on my own and I wanted to open up most of them with you guys. So we're just gonna get started. I am first gonna share with you guys the thing I am the most excited about which is dun, 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 my Natasha Denona palettes that I ordered. I ordered three, you guys, because they were having these deals where I think if you bought three, it was $100. And I think usually they're each like 65 or something like that. And I never tried any Natasha Denona other than the five pans. And so I was really, really, really excited, you guys. Let me open this up. This is the inside. Okay, okay, you feel the vibes? Each one has this cardboard situation, which is really cool. Then you open it up to even more cardboard. And you guys, this one is the Zendo, which I did a little bit of research after I put in the order on Natasha Denona palettes. And you guys, unfortunately, this one is like, I heard not that good, but I'll be the judge of that. This is what the inside looks like. Oh, super cute. You guys can see my little ring light. Um, but let's look at the inside here. The color story. So I got this because the color story, I thought it was really, really interesting. Really pretty. Uh, I really love greens, the red, like just there's neutrals in there too, but it's like with a pop of color. I'm really excited to play with it. I've never played with anything like this before. Like I said, only the five pan. So I'm super excited to test the quality out of this. I'm kind of, it is unfortunate that, you know, people are saying this one doesn't have the best quality, but like I said, I will kind of judge that. Love the packaging though, like the color. Ooh, okay. Okay, so we're moving on. This one is the Sunrise palette. Ooh, this looks pretty, you guys. I love how everything is packaged really nicely because if you are spending a lot of money, they want to make sure that nothing comes to you broken, which I really, really appreciate. Wow. This is the outside of the Sunrise palette. So as you can see, it's definitely not as metallic and shiny as um, the Zendo one. These are the shades in there. Really, really beautiful tones. I'm actually, I don't know if I'm most excited for this one or the Love one, but I mean, I'm excited for them both. I cannot wait to play with this one. Ah! Okay, that's like definitely more up my alley when it comes to color stories, but I just wanted to try the Zendo one because I wanted something that was a little bit different, you know, and then this one is the Love palette, you guys. So let's open her up. Uh, okay, this one's a little harder. And ooh, I like the pink packaging. It makes sense because it's the Love palette. I think this was like a Valentine's Day palette. They put it out during Valentine's Day, I believe. And I think that this is probably, just looking at it, going to be my favorite. But I'm not sure. Like, I mean, yeah, I'm like looking at it up close, actually. You guys, isn't it funny? I'm showing you guys the products before I actually look at it and for myself just because I think this is like a cute little thing to do with each other um but this one is giving oh that shade right there called giving right there is let me let it focus is giving it's giving I'm really excited to make some looks with this palette oh I'm so excited I'm so excited <sighs> okay we're gonna move on now to a different brand this one that I have is from Tula okay and opening it up this 
This is a little set that I bought um, because I just felt like I really needed to get it since I really do love the blue one. It comes with the pink one as well and the white one. I really wanted to try the pink one specifically, the rose glow and get it because I heard really, really good things about it. It's a $68 value. I don't remember exactly how much I spent on this, but I remember it was a pretty good deal and I felt like it'd be a good way to try the other since I really do love the blue one a lot and so does my girlfriend. I'm actually going to give my girlfriend this one as a stocking stuffer so I hope she's not watching this because it's going to be a stocking stuffer for her and they'll ruin the surprise but yeah because she's always using mine that I have now you guys so yeah I had to get her one as well and yeah I just think this is a nice little bundle situation. I think it makes a really nice gift as well for sure. For sure. This next box is from Glam Glow. I'm going to go through it really, really quickly because it's not really anything interesting, I don't think, to you guys. It probably won't be that interesting, but it is a lifesaver for me. Mm, I should have got a knife. Why didn't I get a knife? Why Why was that work? Scissors? Why wasn't that an option? This next product is from Tula. Not Tula. What the heck? That was the last thing. This next product is from Glam Glow, you guys. I feel like this one isn't going to be super interesting to you guys. But for me, this is like... I needed this product, you guys. This is their Glam Glow Double Bubble Face Wash. And they were having a percentage off, so I had to pick this up because I always stock up on this for Black Friday. I love this product. It will wipe your face away, like your makeup face away, within seconds. I love this, especially because, like, you know when you get that mascara and you can't really get it off? This product really takes away the mascara for me as well. If you have staining on the eyes, it won't really take away that um but it, it really really does really good with that mascara and you guys these last me literally like almost a whole year uh given I do have other products I use as well but this is my favorite like this is my favorite you guys like I would recommend this to you guys 100% 100% you guys I'm trying so hard not to show this sticker but this is from NARS, and y'all, I already opened this one up before because I love NARS, uh, and I was really excited to play with this. Um, but this is the Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Light 2 Mont Blanc, and I really, really love this foundation, you guys. Let me open it up so you can see what it looks like. Usually when I think of sheer foundations, I think, you know, really, really light coverage. This isn't that. This is still pretty medium to full, but it does give you a nice radiance. Hence, you know, the glow word, a nice glow to the skin. Uh, so if you really like a dewy face, like a dewy look, I would really, really recommend that one to you. And then I'm not even going to talk about this one. I'm not even really going to take it out of the box. This is the NARS Radiant Concealer. And it's in the shade Vanilla. You guys, this one is really, really a staple in the makeup community and for a good reason. I really, really do enjoy this product quite a bit. And I continuously repurchase it. And then this last item, you guys, I thought this was so cute but so expensive. I think this is the last product in here. Yes, it is. Um, but this is the NARS eyeshadow palette. It's the Climax one, and it looks like this, the packaging. I always throw this kind of stuff away, but I never know if you guys care about that or not, so I like to show it. And then, let me show you. This is like the perfect holiday, you know, fall time palette. You guys, this is the outside packaging, first of all, which let me tell you, this looks luxe. I mean, I don't have like a lot like this. This is really, really beautiful. The little slip just fell off. But this is what the inside of the palette is looking like. Let me try to show it super close. And I don't know, I think this just looks really, really cute for fall with that blue, with that green. I think it's just like a nice little moment. It definitely looks a little bit deeper, like in person, than on the camera. Because for some reason, on the oh, right here, right here, there you go. Yeah, I felt like that green and the maroon shade, like the dark shade, uh, weren't looking as dark as they are in person. So I really wanted you guys to be able to see that. But I think this was like 50 40 something dollars so I got it on this sale because I was not gonna pay that for this 
not that it's not worth it I just didn't have that coin when it came out so I'm glad I got to pick this up because it is gorgeous gorgeous I'm gonna do a video with this palette for sure for sure okay this next product is from Bobbi Brown okay it's from Bobbi Brown and you know what, I feel like I was practically bullied into getting this from like every makeup YouTuber ever. Uh, just fell out. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, you guys. This is $64, okay? 64 buckaroonies for this product right here. So I had to get it on sale. I think even on sale it was like 40 bucks, maybe 40 something dollars. This is what the outer packaging looks like. I'm sorry, the inner packaging looks like super duper luxe. Like this is the top. Looks really, really good. You're going to go through this. So, I mean, like if packaging matters to you, then there you go. Uh, I need to smell this immediately to see what 64 dollars smells like it smells good it smells pretty good it has a good smell it has a good smell um $64 I'm really wanting to know like what this is gonna do I'm gonna touch it and kind of just like swivel it on my hand there I mean that feels pretty good and that feels pretty moisturizing I don't know it smells really good you guys definitely a luxury purchase and I'm just going to put her to the side. I'm super excited to play with that. I, I'm i scared though. I'm really scared. Uh, because if I ended up liking it, then it would mean I would have to keep buying it. Which, RIP my bank account. That's all I'm going to say. Last order, you guys, is a little slippy from Dose of Colors. Dose of Colors had to buy one, get one with their lipsticks. I love their matte lipsticks so much you guys like so much so I had to stock up I'm gonna go ahead and open each one of them so that I don't have to like open each one before showing it to you just to save some time these are what they look like you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these all for you on the back of my hand so these are them swatched and I'm pretty sure I have the names down packed the lightest shade is called cozy the one next to that one the deeper brown is called Cork, the one next to that one that's not the best swatch, I'm sorry, is called Merlot. The other brown shade on the bottom row, that is called Catching Feelings. The pinky tone is called Bear With Me. And then we have, what are you called? Uh, Extra Saucy. So those are all of the lipsticks that I got. I wanted to get these two fun shades. Uh, because I wanted to test out their formula with the darker shades because I feel like sometimes with brands they can really do the lighter shades really bomb but then the darker shades sometimes it's kind of you know wonky I'm looking at the swatches that I did do and they do look to be weaker than the others especially Merlot so I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what that's going to look like on my lips I just wanted to get some Nice shades also for the holiday season, so we'll see. I might like it, might hate it. I'll let you guys know. Uh, but everyone, I'm pretty sure that was everything. I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. There definitely will be other parts to this haul, and I will try to link them below once they go live in case you find this video later on and you want to, you know, keep binging that. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you again for spending time with me. Bye, bestie!